So here are the lottery results. LA gets a uh, first overall pick from two to one. Nashville jumps up from 10 to two. New Jersey stays with you. Arizona gets pushed back. Winnipeg pushed back a bit, and Edmonton, New York, Montreal, etc. So forth, they all get pushed back a little bit. Yeah, as I figured, we're not even uh, listed up there, which makes sense. But, uh, yeah. We'll see what happens here. Again, I don't think there are going to be too many major retirements here. There usually is. Oh, Duncan Keith actually retires. Well, I, it makes sense that he's, he, he, would, he might retire right now at this point. You'll see. Um, Steen, Zajac, Giordano... Guess he, yeah, it was pointed out that why didn't I take Giordano in the expansion? I thought it was an OFD. I don't know when he got changed to a two way D, but he indeed did. <laughs> it was probably, it's probably was like, he was probably a two way dude in the last game. I'm just an idiot. Remembering back to like years ago anyway, yeah, not too many major names that, I mean, like that are still, you know, relative or relevant, I should say. Derek Ryan actually retired. Oh, uh, yeah, no goaltenders. Alrighty, uh, Giordano becomes a coach. He often does. Duncan, Keith, Gerby, Ryan, and Zajac all become scouts. And uh, no, no one from our uh, from our uh, pools here, coaching staffs, whatever. <laughs> no one retired there. So we have to interview this guy because he was scouting glitched all all year. So Samu Kuka, we're gonna interview him. I'd love to see if we wanted to move up there. We'll see. We might not. This might not be a draft where we move up, like, at all. Uh, just because it might not have, like, anything usable. All right, so he's NHL ready. That's good. As he kind of figured where he's going to be drafted at. <sighs> Sniper. Okay. So we can't use him. I was really, really hoping for someone up here that we could use. But yeah, that's why I stocked up last last season. You never freaking know. Shane Wright's a playmaker. There's a DFD here. That's really our only bet. Uh, I, wait, I think Lambert's two-way, isn't he? It's been a while since I've had him. Let me see what he's like, actually. Might as well interview him. I can't. I think he is. I can't remember, though. He might have gotten changed. Like, maybe he's playmaker or something else. So he's NHL ready. I remember in previous years, I never got him to pan out, but... No, see, he's a playmaker now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he is indeed a playmaker. No longer a two-way forward. I think he used to be a two-way forward. I, I could be wrong. Maybe I'm thinking of someone else, but I, I used to... I always thought Lambert was a two-way forward when back in there. Oh, well. Um. So yeah, can't grab literally any of these guys. Obergauer is our only option to grab... Listed at seven. Um, there are some guys back here. I could look at Blongfist and hope that he. I might as well. Like, what the hell do I have to lose? I, I didn't. I don't know if I was gonna interview anyone else. There was some stuff I could. I was gonna save and maybe an interview to like look at some random goaltender, but I don't think it'll matter at this point. There's absolute dog crap here. So if this guy's an elite. I, I'm gonna figure out if he's someone we could use or not. I think we desperately need to know that. So. I guess we'll just start off. Oh my god. Why is my alarm on? <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. Come on, play style. Two way, two way. Big money, big money, no whammy hype. God damn it. All right, so literally no one we can use. <laughs> Good thing we didn't win the lottery, I guess. Oh boy. All right, well. That actually sucks. We can get one guy up there. Is there even anything good? I can't remember. Oh, yeah. There, ah, damn, why couldn't... Uh, I really want to get this guy's guy. He's most likely uh, a top four. Most likely a top four. But I was hoping to at least get him like fully scouted. Hmm. Yeah, there's some goalies. I'll probably take some blind picks on. Oh, my God. Couldn't get any low elites. Zero. Um, what do I have in the way of pins? I know I pinned a few. I don't think I... Yeah, not even that many. <laughs> this guy... Now, I have this guy pinned at 40 because he's got one year ETA as a starter, which isn't too bad. That To me, that means he should become like an actual starter. So, I might pick him just because we're going to need that next stopgap. 
Um, Dimitri Law, and who knows, maybe he sims like a beast and we're able to save a ton of money on him. Um, but yeah, other than that, man, this is, this is it. This is all we got. Not a whole lot, man. Really not a whole lot. And we've done all our interviews, so there you go. And, uh, Chicago won the cup. <laughs> Hell yeah. Everyone be happy. Chicago won another cup. So, Chicago wins the cup. They got the presidents as well. What a year for them. Uh, McDavid with the Art Ross. Debrinkit got the heart. Uh, no one won the Norris, interestingly. Yeah, they sometimes they choose not to award the Norris. It happens. Uh, Lady Bing went to Debrinkit. Uh, Byfield with the Calder. Con Smythe to Patrick Kane. Makes sense. Vesna, uh, Bishop. Uh, William M. Jennings to Markstrom. Uh, Niku with the Masterton. Uh, the wild coach with the Jack Adams, Selkie to O'Reilly. Ah, come on. Uh, Ted Lindsay to Brinkett. Uh, excuse me. And Maurice Richard to Ovi. And for the AHL, I didn't actually. Yeah, it was, okay, it was Hershey, the Hershey Bears won the Calder. All right, I, I couldn't remember if our team got far. I was too busy trying to scout and shit. But no. All righty, so here we are at the draft, getting into it. Uh, yeah, people, oh, people are, oh, perfect. This is like, this is perfect because this is right in the range that we want, right? With that DFD. Yeah, he's listed as seven, so we can grab six. Yeah, we can grab like the six and play it safe from the, <laughs> from the Oilers. Oh, boy. Uh, do I want my 16? Oh, I also have the 29. I have the 16 and the 29, yeah. Well, I, I'll probably move one of them up. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah, never mind. They're <laughs> I see elites. I get excited. Can't use them, though. I mean, there's some... Uh, there's some DFDs and such. But I don't really think we'll need it. I think we'll be almost kind of good for... I'll try. I'll probably use that 29 to move up. I'll keep the 16. Although, I don't think I have any other seconds. I might have to pick, go off the board with some of those, or min-max and move back. And we got the 48, which will get us that goalie? Was he at 50, I think? Or was he at 40? It's a good question. I can't remember. Might have been at 40. Yeah, he's at 40, so I might actually do a lot of shifting around here. But first things first. Let's target the six here. Probably going to cost us the 16. I don't see a, a way. Oh, no, wait, wait. We got tons of value. Well, theoretically, tons of value. Backlund shot up. James Neal shot. You guys want James Neal? You know what? I could actually picture them using James Neal. You know what? I'm, yes, because he would be, imagine him with McDavid. They need scoring wingers. And they need some grit. There's a nice little power forward for you. I wonder if I can get away with throwing in the 29 with this. Absolutely, I should be able to. I mean, they want to give all. They want to give up uh, this pick. So let's grab a second from next year. How's that? Fuck yeah! <laughs> I'll take it. Thank you, Edmonton. Uh, now what? We had some other stuff, but we don't have to do that backland deal now, um, unless I really want. But again, there's really no reason to move up. There's zero reason. That's sixteen. Yeah, that's really the only one we want to move up for. The 16, I can grab something around here. There's a righty DFD. Actually, you know what? Yeah, that righty DFD is probably a good bet. Three or ETA. I don't know what this guy is, so lack in character. Pro release off. Yeah, I don't know. He could be like a sniper or a playmaker or something. Another guy with leadership, but he's also possibly injury prone. So maybe hold, maybe back out of that. Another righty, two way guy here. Three year ETA. Was the other guy three year ETA too? I think he was. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was. Anyway, elite playmaker went 77. Orlando Beach or whatever. Yeah, there's. The Dreber guy with two-year ETA. Orlando Terry. 
three year ETA. Pinch cycle though. There's this guy, maybe shoot balance, which is interesting. Kind of fits with our other balance balance guy. You could always try out this guy, another righty. You could play either side. Four year ETA, balanced pinch confirmed. That's honestly probably better because everyone likes pinch. I want to grab that guy. I want to try to grab both these guys. So do I hold on to that 16? Is it worth it? I might actually move it back and, gr and grab some stuff. Because I'm not, I mean, this guy, you can get him kind of anywhere. Yeah, we can grab him, but we can get we can get a player similar to him in the second round. So let's see. Around 40-ish. Let's go for this pick. 36. I think the guy was at 38. One of them I was looking at. Do you guys want that 16? They don't. But do this and then grab a second from next. Mm, can I even get their first from next year? Don't think so. Unless I threw in some extra stuff. Well, let's see. I could take a chance and hope that they're shit. I don't think they will be, but in, the, in which case I won't give them anything crazy good. Gambrell jumped. I think rust is extended, yeah. Kreider, yeah, we're not moving that contract. Shaw, you don't move. I could move Nick Ritchie, right? Eh, they're not going to take that, are they? Are they? Yeah, no, oh, they can't. They'd be overcapped, and I don't think they take that. I could. Unfortunately, I don't want Gambrell. Is there someone I could take back for Gambrell? Like someone with some uh, a value? Whoa, they got Perfetti. Oh, wait, he's a playmaker, though, isn't he? Yeah. Damn it! <laughs> Veselinen. Sniper. Yeah, I don't think they have, like, any... Dubois still a power forward? Lol. Kyle Connor would be incredible, but, yeah. That's gonna be... Yeah, no, they don't want to give him up, and that's a shit ton of value. Little Pionk, Brody, and Sanchez. No, they don't really have anyone. Don't really have anyone here. I mean, I can easily get that first. If I'm doing that, though, give me another pick, too. Give me their second as well, I guess. Hopefully they're bad again. There we go. Yeah, I probably could have gotten more. Whatever, though. The player they're going to get around there is vastly less than that 16's value, so I still feel like I came out on right. Plus Gambrell. <laughs> anyway, there's a center sniper. Anything else I want to do? Now we have... Oh, yeah, I wanted to move up a bit. So let's try to move up for this pick. That's, that'll be 38. And we'll do that with our 50 because we want to get the guy at 40. Or the 48. Yeah, we can move that up. We have the 36. Move this up plus... I could go with the third. I kind of want to make a bunch of blind picks, though. Or blind-ish picks. Let's see. At this point... All those kind of make sense to hold on to. I might, it might have to be kind of running out of players here. Do I have? I, I think I gave away all my trash already too that I can't use. There's a top nine like grinder or something probably. Yeah, hold on to him for a bit. Kalinin, 67.20 power forward. I'm pretty sure everyone left here is a guy I could use. Yeah, that's an enforcer. Enforcer D though, you know what? 60 at 20. For the memes, it's funny. I prefer if I'm getting an enforcer, I'm getting a forward. That should go through. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I got a tough guy on the back end now. Don't worry, Jim Benning will give him like a four by five deal in a few years. Alrighty, and I think that'll be that's probably it for this. Yeah, for what we need here. So let's go up to the six. Please don't go. Thank God. That would have been really, really bad if for some reason he just went. <laughs> like if someone desperately needed a defense, it usually doesn't happen. But if it did, that'd absolutely suck. Anyway, we can get Obergauer now, which is the play, quite obviously. Similar to Mark Edward Vlasic. No, good, not good shot utilization, but everything else is good. Plus, he's NHL ready. Well, theoretically. He might be. I wonder if he's better overall than these other guys. 
Uh, he's similar. Okay, he's comparable. Probably one year of development. Wait, where did he come from? Shit, I forgot. Ah. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I could actually sign. I don't... Shit. Was he a CHL? I don't remember. Doesn't. I don't know. Names hard to hard to uh hard to say. Let's see what else goes here. Sniper elite sniper goes to New York. Uh, Savoy goes to oh perfect goes to the Habs. Then down to the Playmakers. Vancouver always on the uh, outside of the really good picks. All right, and that's that. Okay, so our next pick here is at thirty six. That's right. All right. Let us see what will happen. So we could probably, I probably want to take a chance on this guy. Because this this should be top four with with what everything's around. Plus he's listed as a gem. So I think it's highly unlikely this is going to be like a top six or anything. For your ETA, balance pinch. Um, I'm really interested in it. And I think I'm going to pick it. I, I really, I really, I really like, uh, excuse me, I really like this, so. Let's snag him. Yeah, top four. 60. Oh, okay. A bit lower than I was expecting. 60 overall. That's all right, though. He's got... He was a gem, so hopefully he grows well and such. And then I'm going to grab this goaltender here. Yeah, dude. Look at that, man. Like, 70 overalls and shit. <laughs> oh, well. So now I'll grab that goaltender. Lock Sean off. And this gives us a really, really solid option. One here ETA. Like, this guy's good. Dmitry Lakshanov, yeah, 74, so probably more like two-year ETA. But yeah, uh, hella good. 74 starter here. I mean, that's the only time I'd take a starter is if they are, like, pretty damn good overall. So if this guy grows well enough, I mean, I could see him getting mid-80s, and you never know. If he's a solid goaltender from there, we may not need an elite. I'm still looking for elites, obviously. I'm not just banking up my our entire system on that guy. Hold on. I want to make sure I'm not going to miss out on any of the pins I have because this doesn't look like a great. Well, we didn't just didn't get a whole lot of info, so I want to make sure I get the guys. Okay, yeah, he's not till way back there. All right, up to the 80 we go. Wow, already dropping down to some crap. Okay. So there's that. I can get a low top six two way forward. He's three or ETA, so it isn't half bad. Probably the best bet here out of everything. I doubt I find anything good with a blind pick. This guy is likely could even be. Yeah, he's got bad faceoffs anyway. Yeah, let's just grab this guy, Angelo Bartley. The pole. Let's grab him. 62 overall, low top six. At least we could perhaps use him. See if he pans out. Up we go to the four. Now we'll take our last pin. Oh shit, I didn't miss him, did I? No, okay, good. Um, I, I don't think... I might have two fours. Hold on. He's at what? 132? Oh, uh, yeah, I can grab him. If I was correct, then he's 132. I'm pretty sure I didn't grab him with that next pick. Yeah. All right, so we'll grab him with that next pick. That'll be it for the pins. There's a... Center, likely two-way forward. Behind the net, good character. You never know. At this point, it could be a random medium elite steal. I don't think so, but I'm going for it anyway. Doof. <laughs> Bottom six. Ah, damn. Oh well. It's not. It's might as well swing for the fences. I. I don't think there's gonna. There's no like low elites. I haven't seen any at least. Oh, son of a bitch. Svensson, top six. Oh, he's 19, but still, that would have been nice. Damn, scouts. Why couldn't you find the guy like that? I go for another defenseman. Oh, no, no, never mind. Yes, I do go for another defenseman, but this guy, Bonnick. Now, he's not a great skater, but he's got good character, and he's mature. And Yeah, if he grows well, then he could be a serviceable NHLer. Sasha Bonnick, let's go. Yeah, 49 overall, but he has 17, and this is a pretty damn good pick for the fourth round. <clears throat> so on we go here. Yeah, legit. I don't think I don't think there's a single low lead in this draft. Whatever. Well, there's one possible. Well, we can we can take a random chance. He's from Kazakhstan, which is hilarious. Oh, he's got leadership ability. Yeah. 
Take the Kazakhstani. No, oh my God. All right, blind pick goalies then. <clears throat> Jeez, they're all fringe starters. Did I even? Is there even like a good goalie in this draft? I haven't seen any. Oh, there's a low. Okay, I couldn't use them anyway. So there was a low elite. O'Brien was a starter. Might have even had that guy scouted, but just didn't bother with him. I did have another scouter or starter or two scouted in this, but I didn't bother with half of them. All right, let's see. Are there any goalies around here? Hmm. There's a guaranteed backup. Then, like, okay, no. I mean, I could snag someone and literally hope for the best, but. Is this our last? I don't even know. I guess. I'll try. I'm, I'm really. This is a shot in the dark. Nah, fringe starter. Oh, we did have one more pick. Whoops. Whatever. Not like I'm missing out on anything. Is that our last pick? I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. Okay. Last pick of the draft. I could shoot for another goalie, but. Don't think there's going to be a whole lot of that. Man, there's just, there's just a whole lot of nothing in this draft, to be honest. All right, well, what's what was around here? Is there anything weird? No, I mean, it's just garbage. A little top six, okay. Kulatov. Gunnarsson, no one else from Russia, I don't think. Okay, this guy's from Russia, but... I mean, you can hope that he's something decent, or you can take a shot in the dark at the Swedish guy who's 17. So oftentimes the 17 year olds at this stage will be something else. Both of them are good, but Huh. Well, let's go with no, he's a defenseman named Datsuk. That feels like bad juju. I don't know. I don't know who to go for. Gunnarsson or Datsuk. I'm gonna go with Datsuk. I don't know why. It's it's calling. I'm gonna go with my gut here. It's calling for me. Okay, my gut was terrible. All right, let's see if the other guy was something. No, he is literally not. Plus, he's a playmaker. Can't even. Damn, dude, what a what a draft that was. <laughs> uh, yeah, one. Okay, there was a low top six there at the end, but yeah, we failed. Well, first few picks were good. <laughs> We got some pins here and there, but overall that looked like a pretty weak draft. And that's okay. Uh, yeah, we have our NHL coaches coming off. We're not going to worry about that. We're going to get our entirely new, holy shit, coaching staff. Um, I'm going to sign them all. I'm going to sign all these guys anyway because there's no reason not to really. Yeah, I'll just fire the ones I need to fire depending on what I can grab. Really? All right, let's do this real quick. Actually, not real quick. There's quite a few of them. Yeah, as I said, there's no penalty for firing the scouts. So it's like, I don't know. Might as well hire them and then fire them if you need to. Maybe there is an owner mode, but who plays owner mode? Let's be real. Does any, any Actually, if you're out there and you play owner mode, shout yourselves out in the comments. I'm actually curious if anyone does. I played it like once. I, didn't, I don't know. It's just... It's a lot of it's tedious and it's tedious for like no reason. <laughs> It's just like, what's the benefit of it? I don't know. That's just, it's just me. Doesn't appeal to me. Let us see. So this Gauthier guy, 80, 24, power forward. He's really not good. But I could use him in the AHL, I guess. So I will. Clutterbuck doesn't want to come back, which is fine. We're going to move on from him anyway. We got some new stuff. Twerinski. Get him signed. He might. Yeah, he's ready for fourth line. Okay, his defense awareness is a bit low, so he's not my first choice. Pocket doesn't want to come back, but we're getting Pocket back. And we'll try to eventually get him to a contract. Let's do one by three for Pocket. Uh, Nordstrom. Again, if anything. Well, I guess we need to spend money. <laughs> kind of curious why he wants an actual deal there, but whatever. I'm not okay, McEwen. Calm down. 
whatever. We have money to spend, so I can spend it. Where was Obergauer from? Yeah, yeah, is that? Pretty sure that's some kind of European thing. I don't recognize the logo. So I think sign him and play him, yeah, play him in the AHL. I think so. Kuffner, Fortin. We do need to get rid of some stuff. So let's see, do we have... We do have a couple entry levels. Are they good entry levels? Oh yeah, one of them's our scene, obviously. That's a good entry level. Uh, another one's Kalinin, 6720. You know what? Yeah. We're gonna, we have to use guys like this. I, I Normally I wouldn't like often sign a guy like that. I wouldn't even often like keep him around. I would, I would have traded him already. But we're, since we're so limited, we really have to make use of these guys. I'll leave this guy off contract because he seems to be growing pretty well. He's on pace to make to make the NHL. So I'll leave him off contract. Alright, I don't know if we need those defensemen necessarily. Might as well, I think the forwards we can keep around. But we'll check on the defensive situation. We'll only do them the one year. We don't need to go too crazy. Perfect. Coppa Bianco. I might, I'll probably get him to a couple years. Yeah, I want to get him to two. Bump him up a little bit. All right, what are we looking at for defense here? It's mostly in the AHL is what I'm concerned about. So, Barry, I wonder if he keeps his stat growth. Probably not. Barry, Sanheim, Montour, Mete, Foot, Cuckoo, Dahlstrom. There's your seven. Uh, Juleson, Lambos, who is still, unless he jumps, he might he might get NHL ready. We'll, we'll see. He might actually be jumping up there. Anyway, um... But he, he's, he's exempt anyway, so it doesn't count. So, yeah, two, three, four for the AHL, five. Oh, that's it, huh? I kind of need both of them. Uh, well, not technically. If Lambos jumps up and is ready, then Dahlstrom can move down. But safe, better safe than sorry on both of these guys and snag them. I'll do two years for this guy with top four because, yeah, Rassin and I'll only do one year mostly. Ah, they both. Fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> Shawlin's coming off anyway, so we can get rid of him next year if we need space. Uh, Wall. Oh, yeah, that's right. I picked him up to be a backup. I was like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> I picked him up as a backup. He actually did pretty good. I think I'll keep him around as the backup. Um, Lakshanov, I think I'll just leave him off contract. I'll let him play out in Russia uh, because I... I yeah, I already have my my goalies for here, so I'll I'll leave the goalie off contract. If yeah, you know what? Or I can get rid of this guy, use Parsons as a starter, and then use uh, Lock John. You know what? I think that's a way better idea. Yeah, you know what? I I want to control him. I want to control where he plays. Hopefully, control his growth. So yeah, Parsons will be back up. Wool can depart. He was good, man. That was the thing. He's Feel bad about doing that with how well he simmed, but whatever. Parsons will be the backup to Quick. And then Scott and Lock John up in the HL. I like it. Alright, let's advance day here. Scouts first. Two. Three out of like eight. Four. Five. Okay, there's gonna be a couple more. I doubt anyone uh, rejects my offers because I was I didn't really do math on them or anything like that. I just kind of threw around money, which is fine because we're not in any cap danger. Not even close. We got plenty of cap space and we probably won't be signing any big names right now. Just kind of let things play out as they are, most likely. Kind of develop some guys here and there. Get a new coaching staff. See what the see what all see what they're about. Start I'll probably just get a coaching staff just with the best teaching. And then from there, we'll figure out what our players are going to want and need to succeed. And then we can get an entirely new coaching staff built around them. So this next one will be all about teaching. Because we're going to have those guys start filtering into the NHL soon. So that is the main goal. Um, I think that's it. Did I have anything else? Nope. All good. Cool. All right. Let's uh, get to free agency here. That was quick, over in a day. More scouts. Eight. Was I was I exactly right? No, nine. <laughs> I was so close. Alrighty. And great way to stay in shape. Yeah, I know. 
There we are, alright. Um, so before we check the uh, free agency pool, let's see if we need to do any extensions. Uh, Thick Richie doesn't want to come back, so maybe look to trade. I should, yeah, should have fucking traded him. Whatever. Well, this this could be a deadline uh, deal. So start him on the first line. Hopefully he does pretty well. Montour. Uh, we might have to keep him around. But, again, he might be a deadline deal as well. We'd have to retain, obviously, but... Might work out. for JFK will keep around. I like him. Oh, my goodness. You know what if he... Well, no, he's not... No, 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 That's a bad idea. Yeah, he's not going to get too much better. He's he can, he's not even going to be a third liner. Oh, he's a really good depth piece, though. Oh, he's a very good depth piece. Could I get him long-term depth? Yeah, absolutely I can. I can get him for that long-term depth. That abs, Yeah, I'm going to fucking do that. I don't care. I'm doing that. That is That's a great deal. And he can literally play anywhere. As a depth guy. Yeah, he's he's really good. He's got solid offense, solid defense, good face-offs, decent shot. Yeah, he's he's just good all the way around. I'm going to use JFK as like a long-term depth piece. Jonathan Quick wants an extension, as does Parsons. Probably could keep Parsons around. Yeah, I'll just do a... I think he'll be UFA anyway. So let's do... Let's try to do a three-year two-way deal. And hopefully have a very cheap backup. Dahlstrom. I'll hold off on that. Obviously, I don't need to sign him. Is that really the only... Yeah, JFK and hold off on Montour. Yeah, that's it. Alright, that's that. And we'll check out the free agency pool. I'll check out the coaches as well after this, but I'm sure you guys are anxious to see who is available. Oh, Philip Forsberg. Hello. Guy we can actually use. <laughs> he wants a shit ton of money, though. That's a ridiculous sum of cash. There's also Couturier, who's probably much more worth it for what he brings to the table. Damn. But yeah, I wish I could find someone a bit younger around this like this age, but a you know a good forward. There's really nothing like that though. Yeah, if Forsberg was like a center at that age, it'd be perfect. I'd, I'd go for him, no second thoughts, but we really need centers. I guess this isn't the time to get him. I'm not gonna spend money right now just because I need to. I, I wanna wait, you know, or just because I feel like I want this guy. I, uh, no, 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 no. That's that's not the play. I, yeah, he looks good, but by the time we're competitive, he'll be a veteran. He'll be starting to decline. It's no, like we're not gonna be competitive in my opinion for at least two, maybe three years. So he'll be what, thirty one, thirty two, have him for a couple seasons, and then you already have to be moving on from that. I don't know, man. Doesn't look, doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I don't even think we go for anyone. We just make sure we're at the cap floor and just roll with what we have, I think. That's kind of my thoughts, man. I want our own picks to have value, you know? I don't want to have to... So it might be the time to do do that in this year. Or this season, I should say. Hope Backlund can have another good year. I mean, we play him with Rust and Richie again. I, I see no reason why he shouldn't. We yeah we traded <clears throat> excuse me we traded some of those you know good players but someone's got to put up points on this team right and that's, that seems to be the case at least oftentimes that someone's got to put up points. What are we looking at for forwards? I might have to fill, get some spot fillers. Well, let's see. No, nah, we have enough. We we absolutely have enough forwards. We don't even yeah we really don't even need to sign anyone. Yeah, we actually don't have to sign anyone. So I might do that. I might not sign anyone. I might look at some prospects, but we didn't really have any uh, room on this roster anyway. We were already at like 48 contracts or something. I can grab like one prospect. Yeah, 48 contracts. Pretty ridiculous. But yeah, even... There might not even be any. And there's, there's a center, but Playmaker can't even use him.
Is that the guy we traded? Yeah, it is. I can get him back if I want it. <laughs> it's hilarious. Yeah, there's really nothing there. Any two-way grinders here, or yeah, two-way contract grinders with decent potential. Nope. Yeah, probably, yeah, I don't, I, I think we'll just leave free agency alone, man. I know there's going to be some people pitching Forsberg or, uh, or Kachiri, but here, here's my thoughts on this. All right. So what we Forsberg, he'd be okay, but we, I, in my opinion, absolutely don't need him. We have Kaigador, we have Bell, we have Arsene, all all wingers. Every single one of these guys is a winger right now. We got Flood, Lambos, Obergauer, and then we still have Barry. He won't really be lasting for super super long, but he can spot fill. We still have Sandheim, who's in, who's in his prime right now. Obergauer is a lefty. Yeah, lefty. Flood's a righty. Lambos also a lefty. So less. Yeah. Need Sandheim less and less, but e even if he's, you know, even if you go to lefties, I would honestly do that to keep around someone who's solid enough like that. Eventually, we'll, we may trade Barry, but that'll be more of a rental type deal. He's on a pretty large contract. Maybe at a draft too, who knows, man. But yeah, um, that's my thought. Like we we need we need prospects. We need I think we need center prospects or a center to build around. Which was mentioned that Vancouver, <laughs> Elias Pettersson's a two way in this, but there's zero 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 chance they give up this guy. I mean, why would you? He's absolutely outstanding. Seriously, why would you? So we probably are gonna have to get our like find our own wh whatever he is to pro hopefully a two way guy with all the power forwards and such we have but hopefully a two way guy that would be very very good. In terms of coaches, we need an entirely new NHL coaching crew. We let them all go. <laughs> wow. Well, not as good as there was last year. All defensemen. What the fuck is that? I've never seen that before. Well, fortunately, we don't have anyone too crazy coming in. But holy hell, that is insane. All right, probably just get guys like one year. Holy hell. Yeah, like I'll get half. Just they're all defensive coaches. Maybe I should go with a bunch of defensive coaches. Just go with these three guys right here. They're all 47. Grab them for like a year. I'm actually curious how they look with our some of our defensive. Yeah, I don't not great with Barry. Montour is a big fan of it. I mean, I could choose which one would fit best with someone like Barry, but they're probably going to be pretty similar. Yeah, well, this guy's a lot better for everyone. So maybe Cochran as our head coach and these two guys as as that they all got good teaching. That's the main thing. Cochran head coach, these two guys as the uh, associate and uh, whatever. That's kind of what I'm thinking. For one, maybe two years. I could do two years to be safe and fire them all if I have to. That sounds like a good plan. Two years to be safe and fire them all if I need to. Yeah. <laughs> They're all defensive. <laughs> That's hilarious, man. But yeah, this is probably the best bet. So head, associate, assistant, I think. Yeah. So what's their names? Cochran, Guno, and Locke. All right. So that'll probably be it. I still love this goalie coach. He's still signed to a long, long time. Still got good teaching. He's a B. I mean, it's a B minus goalie coach, man. Hype. Oh boy. And other than that, we'll look for some scouts. There's gonna be plenty. I'll do all that off camera. But yeah, um, that's my thoughts. I, I don't think we pursue any free agents here. I think we roll with what we got. Kind of sort of tank. Get some teaching coaches. Just some stopgap guys. Keep looking for, you know, some better, more longer term coaches. But just for when our when our younger guys start breaking the league. We want better coaches, not just teaching coaches. Well, we want them to have good teaching, but they want to actually have want good coaches too at that point. 
Because, yeah, they're, it's going to be at least one more year until I think those power forwards are ready for NHL. And probably everyone else, too. I think this next year they're all going to sit out. Like, yeah, like, look at them. Like, they're at 77. I mean, maybe Lambos breaks in now. But Flood, Obergauer, they're all, I think they're all going to take, these two guys are going to take a year more development. I really need Flood to grow a lot this year. He's kind of starting to worry me a little bit. Dude, his stick checking is shit, man. What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> kind of defensive defenseman are you? You called Flood because everyone floods in on your side of the ice? Holy hell. He's got, like, ridiculous offensive awareness, great defensive awareness, and shot blocking, but then his puck skills are god-awful, which makes sense, but, oh, you can't skate for shit either. <laughs> oh, boy. He is interesting. Well, whatever. Stay at home. Yeah, we'll have uh, some good stuff. Anyway, that, those are my thoughts on on the matter. You guys, let me know. Uh, but I, I think I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty pretty positive that I'm not going to pursue anyone in free agency. I just don't think I just don't see a big benefit for us. And there's obviously with how limited we are, just we we really got to save our roster spots and and get the guys that we you know absolutely need. And yeah, all right. So let me know what you guys think. Hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next one.